specific factors. This is where our problem is. Some of these factors are in, uh, recounted in Arkansas Code 1681-203. Now let me show you 1681-203. 1681-203 is not a gun code. 1681-203 is a criminal justice code. It, re it dictates when an officer can detain and question you based on the grounds of reasonable suspicion. So, she says, including misdemeanor, uh, or including demeanor of the suspect, the gait and manner of the suspect, any information received from a third person, those are your red flag laws, Right? And the suspect's proximity to no criminal conduct. That's why we have the American flag. <laughs> While merely possessing a loaded handgun completely on its own is not enough for reasonable suspicion, possessing a loaded handgun in combination with just one additional factor may depending on the circumstances, be enough to create reasonable suspicion of intent to unlawfully employ a handgun as a weapon. So let's look at the grounds for reasonable suspicion because she says just one and possession of a gun is enough to make you a suspect. The suspect's apparent effort to conceal an article do you notice that conceal and carry is inherent in this requirement? Your intent to conceal an article gives them grounds to create, treat you as a suspect according to the law. What about this one? The gait and manner of the suspect. That, what is the definition of that? How do we judge that? Is this completely subjective to the officer? Can I ask you a question? If you are uh, concealing and carrying a firearm, doesn't that kind of change the way you walk a little bit? So inherent in carrying a gun, it can change the gait, the way you walk, which automatically now, according to the law, gives them grounds to treat you like a suspect. How about whether the suspect is carrying anything? Or what he or she could, is carrying? Or, right? So if you're carrying something, do you see how arbitrary this law is? This puts complete arbitrary discretion in the hands of an officer to look at you and say, he looks funny, I'm not going to detain him. How about this? The demeanor of the suspect. Can somebody tell me what that means? <laughs> Do you know what a demeanor is? I'm happy. I have a happy demeanor. If I have a happy demeanor, does that make me now a suspect? If I have a sad demeanor, does that make me now a suspect? Well, of course it does, because it just simply says, the demeanor. It doesn't say suspicious demeanor, does it? It doesn't say criminal demeanor. It doesn't even say scary. The incidence of crime in the immediate neighborhood. So let's just, let's talk about this. If you are walking through a dangerous neighborhood and you are carrying a firearm because you know it's a dangerous neighborhood, you are now a suspected criminal according to this statute. <coughs> the particular streets and areas involved. I thought, crazy me, I thought your state constitution in Article 2, Section 2 said that every, every person was equal under the eyes of the law. <laughs> Apparently, if you live on particular in streets and areas, you are not equal. 